Vasquez has received a lot of attention after combining two things in the kitchen, cooking and being naked from Brooklyn, New York. Please welcome Franco Noriega. What are we making? Cool. So we're making a Peruvian taku taku. Taku taku is a Peruvian dish for all leftovers, right? So um, whatever. So what, what are we making? It's Peruvian taku taku. Taku taku. Yeah, it's basically like um, it, whatever leftover you have, you put them together and you fry them and they're really good. Any leftovers? Any leftovers. So it's a vegan one because okay. I know you're vegan. So we're going to have some quinoa. Right. Um, you can help me out if you want. Okay. Um, we're going to have some lentils. Lentils? Yes. Some, what rice. kind of rice is this? Just yellow rice? Just regular, regular yellow rice. And then we're going to have some um, a egg replacer, but you could use an egg uh -huh. instead. And mm -hmm. um, you can get really dirty with your hands. What do you want me to do? You can do it. Okay. Yeah. So um, I mean, you're the also cook. we're going to put up some oregano. We have... Some uh, brown sugar, pepper, salt, and this is like the real, the real like secret soy sauce. You know, like people don't see it, but it's actually really good. So we're gonna mix this, and we're gonna make like all these patty forms, which you, we you have. You have a restaurant. You don't cook naked in the restaurant, right? I don't. No, no, no. Yes, I have a restaurant called Baby Brasa. It's in the Lower East Side in New York. Uh huh. And then you just started doing this at home, and you decided if I do it naked, I'll get more attention. And well, get, right? Right. People always ask me, you know, like what do I normally like? What do I normally eat when I when I'm cooking? So um, when I'm like, you know, like to to maintain the shape. So this is what I eat. Right. Really healthy stuff. Right. Everything right. organic. And you work out as well. I work out as well. Yes. Yeah. So okay. also we're going to worried about burning yourself with splatter. You have nothing on. Like you, you'd burn yourself. No, I'm really comfortable. I mean, I've been doing it for a long time, and you know, in the worst case, you can burn yourself a little bit, but that's fine. Yeah. You know? And uh, we're going to grill some avocados also at the yeah. same time. So and your, your parents or your family are they? Is everybody very free with their body like that? Is that how you were raised? Well, you know, I was a professional swimmer for a very long time, oh, so, so you're uh, used to just having a bathing. Yeah, suit. just like a bathing suit. Right. I'm like always super comfortable naked. Right. Yeah. Yep. Basically. All right. So you're just. Uh, so we're gonna turn this around. All right. Um, and also, <laughs> and also, if it if it breaks up like that, yeah. you can also break it up. Actually, it's really good like that. Okay. So, you know, so like you fry it a little bit. You're not involved in that, Thomas. Delicious. <laughs> this call. Um, so we're doing another salad, and um, this salad is basically like a like a full winter salad, and uh, we have some. Um, Watermelon radish, you know how beautiful the color is. Yes. And we're going to mandolin here. You're going to start doing this. We're going to put some pickle ingredient, which is like very simple. Um, just a little bit of, of sugar and vinegar. We're going to move it. Oh, oui, sorry. We're going to move it like that. And then we're going to have this incredible salad. So for the salad, we're going to put some arugula, a little bit of cilantro, uh -huh. the sweet potato, some pecans. And I brought uh, from Peru this, uh, this corn, which is like basically Peruvian corn, that uh, gives it like a very nice uh, crunch. Do you want to try some? I do. It's really good, actually. And for the um, dressing, okay. we're going to put, um, we're, we're doing this yogurt-based dressing. So it's a vegan uh, dressing. We have um, coconut yogurt mm -hmm. right here with a little bit of balsamic. And you can actually, you know, use this recipe with some cayenne pepper, whatever you want to do, some salt, um, agave or honey, and then... Pepper and olive oil. Once you have all this in, you mix and wait. You mix and that's about it. So try this deliciousness. How good is that? That's really good. It's good, right? Wow. Yeah, and then I want you to try the pickled watermelon radish also. Okay. So okay. you just really try like the crunch in it. It has like acidity to it. You know, it's good. But once you mix it to the salad, it's really good. So when we have... <laughs> and that's about it. You don't have to put that in, do you? The pickles? I, can you try it again with the whole salad? Okay. Please do. Okay. Just start waiting and see. I mean, I liked everything else, except for the pickles thing. No, you give me another one. I just want you to try it like, and tell me if it's a good all together. It's a giant bite. I know. When you mix it with all, and you know, it's good, no? Mm-hmm. Like, it balances the flavor out, right? Yeah. And yeah. you can pickle almost anything. I mean, you can do onions, you can do watermelon radish, you can pickle anything, and it lasts forever. It's really good. I've always said you can pickle anything. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I have a gift for you. It's Ellen underwear. Look, and you have a little, um, and have an apron. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Ellen. You're welcome. Thank you. For my next week, I'm going to have an underwear. Okay, good. For sure. Okay, just a little apron. 